Alright, hello, you probably just saw. So, um, I've, I've skipped all the college stuff. Uh, it was, I, I recorded a bit of it, but it was, it was pretty boring. Like, there's not really a lot to do. Basically, uh, they just stand around and go to class and then, like, mascots turn up in your house, like, all the time for no reason. And it's just like, oh, hey, and just run around naked in your house. And, uh, and that's the highlight. So, I thought I'd just skip all this. I did it completely, uh, legit as well. Um, and look, she, uh, did a, what is it? Magna cum, I don't know. She got on the Dean's list, so that's like super good and stuff. Yay! A plus. Ah, oh, that's it. Magna cum lada, but summa cum... Okay, I don't know what that means. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, so you may have noticed one of the, the perks of... Uh... See, this this cow, Susan, I mean cow literally and figuratively, like comes into like her house all the time and just sits on the computer and takes up the spot. It's like, she, like... Uh, Laurie is a student. She needs that computer to do things, and she's just like doing all their cow business, like on cow forums and stuff. I don't know. Um, but yeah, one of the advantages of uh, when they graduate college is look, they get you get another two uh, want things slots, and also you can lock two of them, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's I don't know how handy it is. It's kind of handy. Um, while she was here, I, I trained up in these talents. Um, I want to get this to gold. I think you can like. You build a robot who, like, can you control them? I think you might be able to control them. I'm not entirely sure. But, um, how do we move out? Uh, probably just call up. And then we can move her back into the house. Move back to the coolest town around. Uh, if you didn't know, that's what the town is called, if you forgot about that. So, um, there's something also that, uh, I picked up. I swear, completely legit, I didn't even... I didn't think that you could actually get these uh, without cheating. Got this uh, genie lamp. So when we get back to the house, we're going to have to test that. This old lady just came back and she's like, you can have this. I was like, oh, okay. I honestly don't even know what it does uh, in this game. I remember in The Sims 1, it's like it gave you two choices. And uh, you could either have, like, you had to pick one of the two choices. And then either a good thing would happen or a bad thing would happen. It was really weird. Um, yes, that's totally fine. Um, oh look, she's going up, I think. With some cool rock music playing. And now uh, some sweet somber jazz music. Great, not som- not somber, uh, somba. This is hardly somber, like sad. Okay, great, she's got like track pants on, that's what uh, you need heading into adult life. Um, I don't know what happened, what you can sew when you get up to this level, but at the moment she can make, like, uh, she can make outfits, which is pretty interesting. And then a quilt and teddy bear and some curtains and stuff like that. Not particularly interesting. But uh, we'll, we'll see what we can get uh, when she gets gold status on that. But we'll aim at doing the robot thing. And also, uh, check out this genie lamp. Okay. We can't play anymore. I wanted to just leave it on play so we could, like, stare at this cow. God damn it, Susan Hyatt. God damn it. Okay, here we are, we're back. Laurie, look, she's got this nice little star in a college thing. Uh, she's now younger than her twin brother. Which there is actually a way we can we can get around that and fix that. Uh, we might do that, we might not. Uh, I don't know, I don't know if I can be bothered. I might. Might make things more canon, more uh, in, in line with the story. Anyway, but now all that effort is going to pay off when uh, she finds a job. Which is why we... I played <laughs> through an entire sitting of uh, college in, in one sitting. Uh, which is going to be fine. But what we, we want her to get a job in biology and paranormal. They're both very good uh, rewards that we need in our house. Don't need. But basically, uh, you, your sims are fucking immortal if you get them. <laughs> uh, here we go. Ray Mysterio is obviously having the time of his life. Her life. Whatever. Um, also, look, this is six sims now. It's getting very crowded. Um, education, no. <laughs> um, no way. Um, it's getting very crowded in here, uh, if you ask me. So I'm just saying, you six sims, uh, you might want to uh, count, start counting uh, count the days, uh, saying goodbye to your loved ones, because... Um, Someone, someone might need to go. 
Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry to say, intelligence. No. Oh wait, they're going to be the same jobs as I haven't played since since the last time, so it's, nothing's going to change. Well, we'll have to wait a day. Okay, now that there's lots of lightning and thunder. Okay, well it's gone. But anyway, I think it might be time to check out this lamp once again. I have no idea <laughs> what it does. Uh, we'll see. Okay. Oh my god, a genie popped out. I, well, I'm not surprised at that. Uh, and his head is stuck in a lamp. Um, I am an all-powerful genie. I'll give you three wishes. Okay. Wish. Okay, we can dismiss him for later, which is good. Oh, okay. Wow. Give me wealth. Give me beauty. I can resurrect people. Well, we're going to be able to do that later. But, uh, spoilers, but, well, not really. Uh, give me a long life. Give me the power to cheat death. That sounds pretty fucking cool. Give me peace of mind. What does give me beauty do? Oh my god, where's all this... She's getting lots of money. She got really distracted. Like, there's a cool genie, but, like, she decided to play a money-making pinball game instead. Ah, uh, maybe... Should we try out one of these? Ah, uh, Let's... Fuck it, let's do this. I don't, I don't know what the rest of them do. I don't know what any of them do. Actually, this is the one that I know what it does the least. <laughs> Give me peace of mind. Give me wealth. Wow, well, we don't need wealth. Give me a long life, probably not because, like, I'm killing them off like flies. Uh, resurrect, we don't need to do. So let's see what this says. We get another two more chances. Okay. Hello? Your wish is granted? Okay. Well, I'm not seeing any immediate effects. Okay, see you later. I'll just hang out with this baby. Oh, well, that was fun. Uh, <laughs> I guess. Maybe, like, she's attractive to everyone, I think. I guess. Uh, hopefully not her family. Um, but maybe when I'm done recording this, I'll, I'll Google it and, and see what the hell that did. And what all what those other things do. I want to know what the difference is between long life and the power to cheat death. Maybe when it comes to death. They're just like, oh no, sorry, no, not today. To the god of death, we say not today. Um, that, yeah, maybe that's what happened. Okay, so it's that time again. It's my favourite time of, of the Sims videos, Sims playing the games. Uh, it's a birthday time. This is a very special birthday because, um, I don't know, Sullivan and, and Amar are here. I, I, I don't know who they are. But they're here and they're eating our chili con carne. Uh, if you ask me, they can fuck off. But anyway, uh, this is a very special birthday because uh, it's an alien birthday. Uh, I don't know if he actually like takes on any of Rick's traits, but I guess we'll see if he's got like that like brown pompadour thing. I guess I guess we'll know that when the the toddler has a pompadour. I guess maybe. Well, at least Omar and Sullivan are being polite and are participating in the. Don't whistle. Hey. Emar, shut up. Uh, anyway, there we go. It's birthday time, yay. Let's see how this, this toddler looks. He'll probably be very cute. A cute little alien toddler boy thing. There we go. Hopefully there's not a really loud cutscene that plays over. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Yes, thank god. Less editing for me. Okay, look. Uh, he looks... Really ugly. Ew. Well, he looks kind of cute when he's smiling, but that portrait is just fucking horrifying. <laughs> Why does he look like that? Well, he's an alien. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's something. I wasn't expecting that. Well, anyway, I guess we'll get on with it. Uh, Carl, alien boy, you are this family's uh, hope for survival. Uh, because, I don't know, it's a legacy challenge. And the legacy is in your greenish, bluish hands. Uh, so just before this video ends, this is probably like in the middle of the video, uh, I just wanted to ask you guys something, if, if you're watching. Uh, if you subscribe to my channel, I'll just get away from all this noise. They're watching hard, maybe. Uh, let's just watch, uh, what's his name, Dave and the baby. Um, if you, if you subscribe to my channel, that's a 
highly likely you uh, you probably subscribed to this video series, uh, which is great. Uh, I didn't really realize there was like such a sim community on YouTube. I just thought this would be like a, a bit of a laugh, and, and I stumbled upon this this nice community, which is great. You all seem very nice, uh, so thank you for watching and subscribing and stuff like that. Uh, but what I want to know is uh, what other games you guys are into apart from The Sims. Uh, there's other Sims games like Sims Medieval and stuff like that. I tried to get that series going. I uh, didn't get that many views, but um, maybe uh, I I'm, I'm trying to look for another game to play that... It's really hard to look for another game that's so like op open like this game, but you can also kind of has a narrative element, I guess, which makes The Sims unique. But, uh, but I'm looking for another game like that that I could play. Uh, maybe I can get the Sims Medieval series back up if, uh, if you guys would watch that. Uh, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, uh, please leave a comment like what kind of games you like to see. Uh, it doesn't have to be like that open narrative thing. But if you guys are really interested in seeing me play some other games, please let me know. And I, I will definitely get on that. I, uh, I, what? What is this? What do you want to tell me? I run my own business and we could really use a smart sim like you on our team, Murray. How'd you like to start working in the music tree? No. Fuck off. You fucking interrupted thought, you son of a bitch. Uh, anyway. Um, so let me know if you guys would like to see any other games. I also started a, uh... I only did two parts, but it was the, the Sims 3 Pets on PS3, which I bought for really cheap in a bargain bin. Uh, I started playing that, and I didn't really think that it, uh, it would make it for a good series, but I, I can go back to that. I might, I might rethink that. I don't know. So there's two options for you. Sims Medieval and uh, Sims 3 Pets on the console version. Uh, if you're interested in either of those, please let me know. And if you're interested in anything else... Uh, that would be really handy if you let me know, and I'll, I'll definitely play it. Um, Sims 3, I'm kind of thinking about, I have to go out and buy all the expansion packs though. I only have like the vanilla version of it, so maybe, maybe not, we'll see. Uh, but Sims 4, however, as soon as that comes out, that's not for like, ages, but I'll definitely be covering that, uh, Heavenly. Heavenly? I'll be covering it Heavenly, I guess. Uh, heavily. Okay, it's time for more birthdays, which... We all know and love. Uh, both of them have the uh, growing into elder senior people on the same day. Oh look, Ron Ronio was remembering um, Brian. Good times uh, when he was not uh, dead, alive, whatever. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, what's her name, Laurie? I always forget their names. Laurie got this job in the paranormal career, which is ex exactly what we wanted. That's why she isn't here. Uh, she's a tarot card reader, which I don't, she gets. $525 a day from tarot card reading. Um, if, if that was how much you actually got, I, I would fucking do that in a heartbeat. Holy shit. What a good job. Um, anyway. Uh, so we can get the awesome phone that brings people back to life uh, later on. Which is great. Which is exactly why we sent her to college. Also to get something else. But uh, we'll, we'll do that later. Oh uh, look. He looks like an old man. There we go. Horoscope Friday. You can um, you can just retire. Do you want anyone else to grow up? No. Don't worry about that. Uh, wow. This is what it's like being on top. It sure is. But now it's time for Meadow to grow up as well. Uh, maybe you should retire. Go retire. Uh, find a job. No. Where's where's job? Get job. Oh, you have to call up. Okay. That's fine. Look. Someone else is trying to have a birthday, and you're just already eating your cake. Just have some fucking consideration. Look, I got this table too. Look at this jelly. Okay. There we go. Yay, we're all having a great time. Yay. Yay. Still having a great time. Okay. She looks like she's throwing up. Oh, she's trying to decide what she wants for a fish. Uh, okay. Look, she's an architect, like, um, George Costanza. Yay! Great. You can retire now. She wants a relative to get engaged now. That's cool. Um, kitty cart, no. 
What was that someone's name? Someone had a really funny name just then. Anyway, um, so, as I said, uh, this might be the moment of truth. Uh, you guys, uh, there's, there's too many people, um, in this house. Uh, someone has to go, and unfortunately, um, it's, it's murder. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and, oh, there's no table room. Come on. Come on, guys. Clear out this old chili con carne. So, um, chili con carne? I don't know. So, uh, as old people do. Oh, look! Ghost dog! Wow, Rick just got scared by the ghost of dog.com. Uh, that Oh no, Ron Ronio has run away from home. Why did that happen? It's not good. Well, this is not good at all. This is not good.